And don't do this if you have braces because Nessa, my friend Nessa, tried doing that. Because I told her how to make them and she tried and she almost broke her braces. So many people have been asking me how I make these cosplay teeth. I don't know. Like pointing and it's not focusing. I messed up on the mold of these, that's why um it kind of goes down some, but it looks fine. Like, you just have to like adjust them. So today I'm making a tutorial on how to make them. Layer Play-Doh, I'm using this, which I also use this. Um, I really recommend this, because I also use this to make like horns, and it doesn't crack, but it's like the same weight as Mom Magic, but it doesn't crack. Use my hand. So snips. Use some snips because like the paint the paint 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 that paint paint the teeth fake nails to make the teeth out of paint rush to paint them um hot glue to make the mold this is dangerous and it hurts that's why I hate I hate telling people to use this. Um, so, basically, um, what you do is, um, take out your clay, a little piece like this or something, and you, like, roll it kind of, like, into a flow, and you, like, I don't know, you just kind of roll it a little bit, like, go, like, just so that it will like fit in your mouth. Take these out. Yeah, you should probably brush your teeth before you do this too, otherwise the mold will have like crap in it. Um, yeah. Okay. Um you get this thing like You can like pre bite into it. Just like oh hot uh hot. That is holy crap though. Like just to get the shape of it is you like make a little dent like an indent like with your finger like don't don't like stress out um like you just kind of okay that is so neat like a kind of thing like that And then make sure your teeth fit in it, because otherwise the mold will be messed up and you'll have to make another one. There's a certain way you can bite into it, which I've kind of learned how to do without hurting yourself. And then you fill in the indent with hot glue. Like, fill it in a lot. Fill it in all the way with hot glue. And then you bite into it. When it feels dry, take it out. Usually I leave it in there for like a minute and a half. Like, look at it, so it, like, gets the mold of your teeth in there. And then you just kind of peel the clay away. Make sure it's dry all the way before you do this. The mold is made, and um, you can just kind of 
try it on to make sure that like it fits your teeth. And if there's little holes in the bottom of the like teeth here, I can't. Okay. Like little holes at the bottom. Don't worry about it. It actually makes it better to stay on. Look at how small my teeth are. What the heck? Oh, I put it in wrong. Okay. Uh, yeah, it has like strings on it, so. So basically, like, it just goes over your teeth. And, uh,. There's still clay on it. Try and get all the clay off because it'll taste really bad. These are a better mold than my other ones. Um, these are way better actually than my other one, but I'm not gonna worry about that. And um, kind of just stick it back on into your clay and wrap it all up again because this clay wraps up. Um. That probably does not apply to most of so it doesn't matter what clay you use. Or just anything like squishy like clay. Yeah. Like that. And um, there we go. So, we'll uh, talk about Okay. Do this. Put it, put it away. Because you don't need it anymore. If it's too... There's like clay, um, stringy strings. You can just cut those off. If it's too much like on the back and it makes you like gag or lisp, like on the back there, like right there. And it makes you gag or lisp, then you can cut it down some. But mine is good. So, yeah. And, um, you just, um, take fake nails and cut them into points, which is easy enough. I don't know. I'm gonna make these ones, cause I don't really need to make a new. I didn't really need to make a new set. So I cut one fake nail down into a point already, and then you super glue them on because otherwise they'll fall off, like the nails onto the thing. But you cut them down into a point, which is super easy, which I don't really need to explain. But, um, see how the bottom one is, like, cut into a point? Yeah, so that's what you do. And you use smaller ones for the ones on the end, obviously. And then, if they end up being really long in the end, you just cut them down like that. Yeah. And I use... The reason I use, um, puffy fabric paint for this is because it gives it more of a textury like teeth teeth texture like let me show you like the little lines and stuff I don't know I feel like it makes it more teethy then I put them in a place because I always end up losing them like here's another mold I mean but it kind of just looks like fangs like when I put them in so I just use them as like fangs like let me show you like a yeah but I need to clean them because they still have clay all over them I hope you like watching so yeah bye oh wait crap um yeah if there's any more questions about any other cosplay things that I make and you want to know how to make them or a tutorial or any video request any questions about any cosplay or anything cosplay related because I do a Q&A or something. Comment them. 
please, if you want to, subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, that's fine too. Um, if you want to show this to so people who want to know how to make them, just share it. I'm fine. If you want to subscribe to my main channel, that will be in the description and at the end of this video. Which should be soon because... But still, that's a lot of money, right? So, and I, like, finally fixed the eyes on it. I repainted it.